This is our second minute of Right Relations. Today's minute is a story about prayer. A good place for us to begin as we gather in this place of prayer. A United Church of Canada member writes about her experience of meeting a teacher who was tending a sacred fire and he spoke with her about the, his practice of prayer. At the entrance of the circle, there were four baskets containing sage, cedar, tobacco, and sweetgrass, the plants used for healing and prayer. She was invited to pick up a bit of each plant and to hold it on her left side, close to her heart, the place of healing. As one enters the circle from the east, one walks around clockwise saying a prayer at each direction. The east, yellow on the medicine wheel, represents the rising sun and a new day. This is where one gives thanks for creation. After the prayer, you throw some of the mixture into the fire. The prayer of the south, red in color, represents energy. Sometimes you think about the energy of your youth and you pray for young people. The West, black in color, represents the death of the day and that we die many deaths in our lifetime. This is the time to remember people who have passed on. The North, white in color, is the direction that represents rest. Some call it the remembrance period, a time to rest and contemplate. And it is a reminder to care for and nurture our physical bodies. In Indigenous sacred teachings, there is no right or wrong way to do things. Different Indigenous people may use other items in their prayers. They are people of the land and use what is natural to their environments.